Good morning, folks. lot to get to today, but I figured we'd start with the relaxing splendor of the birth of an active region, the photospheric appearance of interacting sunspots. You see the bright loops forming as the magnetic fields extend into the corona and capture plasma. That's enough relaxing for me. The National Hurricane Center says there is a 90% chance of cyclonic development here. You see the predecessor dying to his northwest as he builds and begins to turn. Established tropical development in the western Pacific with Hong Kong in the path of Rumbia's effects, currently atop the Philippines and absolutely expected to cross the South China Sea. Coming slightly south of this, Australia and New Zealand taking high pressure indicative of calmer conditions, could last all day Sunday. In Europe, the low has kept thunderstorms on her leading edge. Greece, Italy, and to the northeast of that is under watch tonight. Here's the convergence tail from the New England lows. It will probably head offshore by tonight. Watch zones are in New England and eastern Colorado, and the high pressure may actually subside southwest enough to avoid the record heat. Let's hope. Folks, there have still been days since our last six-pointer, but the last 36 hours were a bit more intense, from the Pacific Ridge to unusual numbers of shakes near Antarctica, always a sign of upticks coming. Eastern Mediterranean hasn't been silent either, and Nepal took a wide-felt earthquake. Hold that thought. Flaring is cooling down a bit. Even with development up north, the magnetics need to mix some more. They are indeed mixing on the south, but as of yet, there is just not enough interaction between the oppositely polarized umbras. Also watching some new arrivals on the limb, but let's jump back to yesterday and my disagreement with NASA's endless spiral. Well, Dr. Tony Phillips agrees with my glancing blow analysis, and that's no small token. And NOAA's endless spiral clearly shows glancing blow with slight speed and density elevations, but nothing major. Or is it? Normally, no, it'd be nothing, but if it has any power to it when it hits tomorrow night, she may exacerbate a cascading scenario. Solar wind density has taken on more than an order of magnitude in 12 hours and is holding there. I see indication of speed in plasma beginning to spike starting just afterwards, and if we get a major speed ramp, you will know it was the coronal hole stream from the turning umbral opening. Tomorrow I'll update whether it was coronal hole or CME, but right now it doesn't really matter. The magnetometers can't tell the difference, just that our shield took a shot to the jaw. Look at the goes. <laughs> Electron flux is major, nothing like the smooth curve we expect, and we are in the midst of a geomagnetic storm that has already hit 7 on the KP index. I've only seen two KP8s in my observation, and this is in, in the top 10 KP events of this maximum. Hopefully it will settle before tomorrow night, otherwise anything significant to that CME is going to take us deeper. Oh, and by the way... Umbral field is still closed, but geomagnetic instability, energetic flux, and the potential for another Earth-facing coronal hole means that we have to monitor that quake uptick. Shots of plasma incoming on the limb, eyes open. No fear, it's 6.35 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.